Welcome to Yarn Spotlight. Yarn expert Claire Parts is going to join me every week to talk all about yarn, the wonderful world of yarn. Welcome, Hi. Clara. Hi, Uni. Thanks for having me. Well, I thought that it would be great to start with the classics. Absolutely. And what is more classic than wool? The mother mm -hmm. of all fibers that we use for so, so many things. What I brought today, just to begin our adventure, is um, two examples of kind of the broad spectrum of what you can get with wool. Um, and different wools are more suitable for different things, just like different twist and ply combinations mm -hmm. are more suitable for certain things. It's really about matching the yarn, the fiber, everything to the, to the right, to the perfect project. Exactly. Exactly. When a pattern says 100% wool at such and such a weight, mm -hmm. it's worth it to look a little bit deeper to figure out what, how is that yarn constructed, and if you can find out what kind of wool is in there, that will give you a much, much better take on how to substitute. And it's amazing that one animal really can produce this incredibly wide gamut of, of different of fibers that feel different, that look different, that act differently. Hundreds Fantastic. and hundreds of different types. It's, it's endless. The journey is endless. So take us from one extreme to the other. Okay, well, from one extreme to the other, we could start with the super duper soft. This is extra fine Australian merino. Mm -hmm. What's interesting about this yarn is that it's hand spun and they really do a good job of being consistent in the thick, thin, thick, thin. Mm -hmm. um, but even then, every skein is going to be slightly different. You can see between these two, this is not been washed yet. This one has been washed. But even then, you can see the little, the thinner areas mm -hmm. and the thicker areas that aren't so prevalent in this swatch right here. And I think we should point out for everybody that this is a singles yarn. Is that right? It is. It's true, true singles. They've taken one strand of continuous fibers and applied twist to them. And you can really see how lofty and puffy those fibers are here. It's exactly. And then I love the texture that comes out in the swatch. Isn't it beautiful? I mean, with this kind of yarn, you don't need to do anything. If you worked very complicated cables, it, it would be lost. All mm -hmm. you really need to do is just knit stockinette and have fun. It's going to do a lot of the work for you. Well, and, you know, it, it's a bonus even when it comes in like these hand-dyed kind of shades that add even more interest. Exactly. And, and hand-dyed yarns, I know you know this because you've worked with a lot of yarns, it, it's, it's not as easy as it looks. A mm -hmm. lot of hand-dyed yarns can look beautiful on the skein, but when you knit them up, they get kind of splotchy and blotchy and pooly. This does a beautiful, beautiful job of really providing kind of flickering hues without ever glopping in any one place. It's, it's a lovely. So you would feel confident using this for a sweater or for any kind of I totally would, you know, because the, the law of all yarn is twist is energy. Mm -hmm. The more twist, the more energy holding those fibers together. So um, the thing with this, because it's a true singles, it has the least amount of twist holding those fibers mm -hmm. together. So if I were to use it for a sweater, I would simply make sure that my stitches were nice and small mm -hmm. because that's giving more structure to the fabric. But you could open it up. You could make gorgeous scarves and mm -hmm. hats and mittens and anything like that where durability isn't as much of an issue, you can open up your stitches and really have a lot of fun. So speaking of twist and energy. Yes, so from, from smoothly twisted singles to two strands of wool that have been very, very tightly twisted together. Mm -hmm. If you look at the, the length of the yarn, you can see there's a ply shadow going on here. The more perpendicular that ply angle is to the yarn, the more Bounce wow, you're gonna that's get. amazing. Look at that. And this is 100% wool. There is no elastic in here whatsoever. Mm -hmm. It's kind of that almost rope-like sort of structure to it, that really tight. Exactly. It's, and, and when you look at a strand of yarn and it looks like a string of pearls, mm -hmm. that's your hint that this is going to be more round and you're going to get a lot more spring and life mm -hmm. to it. So when is that useful or how, when does that become useful in knitting? That becomes useful in a lot of different ways. Um, that becomes useful for stockinette, basically for any kind of fabric where you want durability, you mm -hmm. want well-wearing uh, qualities, and you also want some good elasticity. I and mean, look at this just mm -hmm. springs right back. It's also, this particular, this is two strands that have been plied together. You can mm -hmm. sort of see that kind of yarn structure reflects beautifully in garter. Garter is one of the oh. unsung heroes of the knitting world. I absolutely love using this kind of yarn for garter stitch. Tremendous um, elasticity, and it, it gives you a truly three-dimensional kind of corrugated fabric. The stitch definition is fabulous, Isn't and it, it really highlights kind of the, 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 the beauty of knit stitches themselves. Exactly. 
And the thing, the other thing to notice, the more springy and perpendicular the ply angle in your stockinette, you're going to get this wonderfully kind of cobblestoned effect. So if you're if you're looking at a pattern and you see smooth, 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 mm -hmm. you might want to stay away from this. However, there's just a world of beautiful possibility with this type of yarn. Well, there's just some great tips to help us illuminate the wide world of wool. Thanks so much, Claire. We'll see you again next week.